That's the last of the formal Petra Coochers. So remember, when you go out, we'll be voting, but we're going to have a little Q&A. While we've got this time, um, we're going to have a quick look at deposit from a mobile within a very short space of time. All yours, sir? So this is not a, an official Pecha Kucha, but uh, I'm going to break the rules, but we're going to, going to have the same time limit. Ready? Yep. So this is about using SORD as a standard to deposit into a repository using your mobile device. So whether you're using a, a tablet with a camera on it or a mobile phone, um, this, this should work. Um, <clears throat> And I'll just start off with an example. This is why it's not a normal Pecha Kucha, because I wanted to show you this short video, and it doesn't fit into 20 seconds. So this is an example of um, somebody who is doing a school project, and it's a history project, and she's working with a, a group of other students um, on a project for Mary Queen of Scots. So she's gone to the Museum of Scotland, which is about 200 metres that way. Um, she's gone in there and she's taken some photographs on her ubiquitous mobile phone, which, of course, every teenager has. Um, she's going around taking pictures of labels and pictures of the tomb and all that kind of thing. Uh, she doesn't have to go home. She can just pull out her mobile phone where she is and deposit the images that she's taken directly into a repository. Um, we have to get this videoed because somebody can actually use things at the speed that's required for demonstration rather than me who would send everybody to sleep if I tried to demonstrate it. So I'm going to go through in a second and show you some of these screens in a little bit more detail. Um, but she's very good at thumb work and using predictive text and all that kind of thing. So adding in titles, deciding which workspace you're moving things into, which collection you're putting them into, and putting in a few tags and that kind of thing. And then you'll see in a second, it's a, a simple matter just to press the upload. And then the resources going into your repository. Now that could be images as it was here. It could be sound files that you've captured. It could be video clips that you've captured absolutely anything that you can capture on your device. So even if you want to write a Word document on one of these things, um, you could upload that as well. And in fact, that's her going back now, hoping that the rest of her team have done the rest of the whole project by the time she gets back to school. So I'm really just going to take you through that process slide by slide uh, in a step-by-step -step way. So here's my mobile device. You'll see that there's an interlibrary icon on here, but actually I'm not going to use that at the moment. That's really for configuration and setup. The whole thing is built into the, the system. So I'm going to click on camera. Um, here is my camera screen. I'm taking a picture just outside the Intralect office. So it's better in landscape mode. I've taken the picture, and now I want to share it. And I'm sharing it with anybody, and this share option exists within the, the operating system of the device. So I can share in all the standard ways, but you'll see that one of the ways I can do it is by depositing it straight into Interlibrary. And if I do that, then I get this screen. And you can see, if you're familiar with SORD at all, that this has gone off to the repository. It's found the service document. It's come back and said, here are the groups that you can work in. Here are the collections that you can use. I've automatically generated a, a file name. I could, in fact, just click the Upload button at this stage. Or I can go in, I can select which group I want to work in, which collection I want to deposit this into. Um, or I can add some tags. And these, this is not formal metadata. This is actually going into our user tags. So since that was a picture of a car park, I'll just tag it with the word cars. I could add some more tags if I want to, but I'm very lazy and I'm not going to. So then I can either use that or, as I said at the beginning, I'm going to be lazy and just upload it directly. Click on Upload. It takes a, a second or two, depending on the speed of your connection. Um, and that's the upload successfully into the repository. Now, if I log into the repository, and this works with all intralibrary repositories, 
I'm going to my work area, I can see the images there sitting in my workflow in my reserved area. It's already worked out the size and type of file. Um, if I go onto the resource page, I can see the things that I can do with this resource, but I can also see that I'm in the workflow and I can do other things with it. It's fairly straightforward in IntraLibrary to make this have enough metadata so that it can be automatically published the moment it's uploaded, so that you don't actually have to go in and do anything within the workflow. Now, to set that up, that's what the IntraLibrary icon is for um, over towards the right-hand side here. And it's fairly trivial. I need to obviously know who I am to be able to deposit into the, the SORD repository. So I need my username and password, and I need to say what the, the SORD service URL is from which I'll be able to later on get the service document. Um, set those up, and therefore I can change the target that I'm, I'm trying to deposit into at any time. Simply save that, and it will be remembered for every deposit that I do from any of the applications within the, the mobile device. So this is currently in beta. Um, if anybody would like to try it, please contact me. At the moment, it's only for Android devices, and it supports IMS content packaging, so it's, it's in intended primarily for um, learning object repositories, uh, which are going to make use of video clips and audio and, and photographs and that kind of thing. Um, we are very interested in partnering in projects, so if this is something that any of you would like to, to work with, uh, we'd, we'd love to be involved as well. And I think that leaves me with 30 seconds left. Thank you.